Uh oh. Well, it looks like we have our first pretty big disaster at the Reptarium. This is definitely not a good sign at all. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I am in Canada just for a short while, and then I'm gonna head back to the Reptarium to do some work later in the day. But I'm actually at a place called the Reptile Kingdom. It's actually a rescue down in the Niagara. And take a look at this monkey right here. How absolutely gorgeous. Of course, it's an Argentine black and white tegu. He is a chunky little monkey, and I absolutely love him. Reminds me of Taz. I'll be home with Taz here later today. I hope that you have an amazing day. What do you say we just kind of tool around, have some fun, and then get on the road? Oh, take a look at this chubby monkey. Monkey. It's not quite chubby monkey, but it certainly is big. I tell you what, our chubby monkey seems to be a little fatter, not as proportionate as this guy, so we might have to slow the food down nevertheless. I absolutely love huge African bullfrogs, or what they call pixie frogs, because they are pixacephalus. That is their Latin name, but how amazing this animal is. Oh my gosh. And again, this isn't full grown. It's going to actually even get probably close to twice the size. What an amazing creature. And that's what happens when a lizard gets loose at a reptile show. Stopped by DNC Metamorphs, and they actually had this really cool boa right here. This is actually an orange pastel Andre jungle. I mean, look at that. Of course, the orange pastel is kind of a hypo type of a deal. And then the Andre is, of course, lacking the red pigment. And the jungle has that really cool kind of striping on it. And that orange pastel makes kind of the more bold saddles with the white on it. I mean, this is an absolutely gorgeous snake. I mean, look at that thing's tail right there. Oh my God. Gosh, this thing is going to be absolutely stunning when it gets to an adult size. You guys may remember last year, she came around with me and we saw a bunch of really cool animals. And one of the things that she really wanted to do is hold a tarantula. And she chickened out at the last minute. So do you think you're ready for it to say? Yeah, I am. And you're ready for it, right? Yeah. Okay, so we are going to try to see if they'll let us hold that tarantula and see if uh, she doesn't chick out this year. His name is Stormy. Stormy. Oh my gosh, Stormy is so awesome, huh? Ready? You gonna do it? Stormy is awesome. Well, he likes black coats too, so let's. Uh, oh my gosh, you did it! There you go. Look. That's awesome. He's like, he's like, who are you? Hey, I'm doing it. Please don't jump at me. See, oh, he doesn't want to get off of her. Look. Look it. He likes you. He's it's so good. You can. Okay, do it. I did it. So good. Are you excited? Yeah. That's awesome. You did it. Okay, I did it. Good I job, did it. guys. Good job. All right. Before I head out of here, I had to stop at my buddy at T. Exotics and see some beautiful animals. And of course, this T. Positive blood python didn't disappoint. I mean, look at this beastie here. And you guys know that we have the blood python that's going in the Reptarium. It's got a little bit of an attitude. This one seems to be puppy dog tame, although I'm not sure I ever trust a blood python, but look at how gorgeous this is. And I love the normal red Malaysian blood pythons, but the T positives, oh my gosh. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. And, and I tell you what, it's a pretty chunky monkey too. This thing is so cool. Uh, we are gonna wrap up, get on the road, and guess what? I think we're gonna go and check out Niagara Falls. And we made it to Niagara Falls, the first look of the American Falls over here, and then in the distance, that's the Canadian Horseshoe Falls. So we're definitely gonna go all the way down there and get up close and personal. There's a chance that uh, we aren't supposed to be here. We're supposed to be up there, but uh, you gotta live life to the fullest. Look at this view, guys. What do you think? Man? Pretty amazing. Ah! <laughs> Good ideas by Brian. <laughs> we're literally just by the falls now. I mean, I absolutely love it here. The last time that me and Laura were here, we had an amazing few days of vacation. So it's cool to just kind of hang out with some friends and check this place out. Wow, so impressive. So what do you guys think? Pretty amazing. Dude, this is absolutely nuts, that, man. This is beautiful, man. Yeah. Insane. 
I'm so happy that we had a chance to take a break together and come check this out, man. This is truly the, one of the natural seven wonders of the world. Hey guys, sorry about that. I don't know where I was. I was out, you know, running around this gift shop, just trying to get all geared up for being up here in Canada. So I feel a lot, a lot more normal now. And that concludes our adventure to Niagara Falls. Now off to the Reptarium. Uh-oh. Well, it looks like we have our first pretty big disaster at the Reptarium. This is definitely not a good sign at all. Of course, Lucy's cage seems to have sprung some sort of a leak. I see Lori must have been mopping up. Oh my God, this is not a good sign. And you can see that she left me a little bit of a present. The first present, thank you, Lucy. Oh my gosh, and look at all the water over here. I don't know exactly what is going on. I've got to troubleshoot this because somehow water must be leaking out of this pond. You can see how wet this bedding is and it's pooling up right over here and then leaking out onto the floor. Oh my gosh, I don't know what is going on. There's a puddle back here. All those bubbles are just from it being low and actually creating bubbles. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Okay, so I think what we have to do here and I'll probably have to do this tomorrow, because I'm just getting in and it's getting late, is uh, probably pull Lucy out, get her into another cage, strip out all this bedding, figure out where this is actually leaking or what is going on here, why water is getting over there. And then this is supposed to be sealed here. And I think what probably happened is maybe some of the caulk got kind of jumbled up during moving. And uh, there must be a leak right here, right in this corner over here. And it's dripping out right here and onto the floor right here. So, oh man, you, know, you always want things to go well, but you know you're gonna have to troubleshoot some things. This is not one of the ones that I was hoping was gonna happen. Really two enclosures I hope were gonna be bulletproof. One was gonna be Lucy's cage and two is gonna be Bowser's cage. And hopefully later this week we're gonna have Bowser's tank all set up. We have all of the filters in and stuff like that now. So when we fill that up, what are we gonna see? Hopefully that isn't gonna leak. Oh my gosh. <sighs> what a way to get back from a trip, right? To have to deal with that, but that's okay. A lot of great stuff happened while we were gone too. And what I mean by great stuff is I know it's something really simple and it's like, oh, it's not that big of a deal, but I get excited about it. Lori actually was able to put all of these locks on and you can see it's kind of just perfect. Now we can actually lock the cages. We can just open them up. We don't have to worry about anyone getting in. Of course, we got Nova here looking absolutely incredible. He seems to be loving his cage. I think it's so cool that he's in there just kind of chilling out. I mean, what an awesome display, isn't it? And then again, just little things that are just getting us closer to completion. Lori ended up patching all of these seams. They were all just foamed out and you can see how great of a job she did. I mean, when you walk in, you don't even notice it. Sure, if you get up close, you can kind of see that there's a little bit of a seam here, but she did a really wonderful job because again, just with panning around, you don't even notice it. That is absolutely incredible. But now that I'm back, I'm super excited to get back to work, get this place done. Again, we're gonna do a lot of work this week on this center aisle here. It won't be until sometime early next week that I get the materials to actually cover the fronts, but we can start working on the actual enclosures itself, get the glass in here, we can get all the lighting up, we can get things absolutely fixed out. Again, we've got Bowser's tank that we have to get to, so that's gonna take a lot of work. Probably once everything is done, we'll work on the alligator tank because there's a tremendous amount of work there, but things are looking really good. Again, look at how awesome these seams turned out. I mean, oh my gosh, it's looking more and more complete all the time. Oh, and look at chicken strip up there, just loving the basking spot. Oh my God, he looks amazing in here too and he's been all over the place every time I come in sometimes he's down over here sometimes he's up by the basking spot sometimes he's over here I mean he is absolutely loving this cage but I think next on my list I'm actually gonna move sunrise over I told you guys I want to move animals over one at a time or two at a time just so I can really enjoy the experience and share that enjoyment with you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and get Eric get over here and kind of we can go back and forth and decide what cage we want to put sunrise in and I've got Brian Cusco here doing the honors go ahead girl and again, you know, she'll go into this cage for the next probably maybe six months and then we'll move her up to a six footer and then ultimately up to an eight footer. But uh, I think that this is probably the perfect size for her to start with. No sense in giving her such a big cage where she's gonna get lost in it and we're hardly gonna be able to see her. There you go, sweetie. See how you like it. <laughs> I love this. This is the part I love more than anything right here. 
just seeing these animals kind of roam around. And I think it'll be really cool. She obviously has this rock fixture to climb. You can see already she's kind of climbing the wall. She's going to do everything. She can definitely kind of just explore this cage. And I think it's going to be perfect for her. Look at how bright she looks in there, huh? She was. Echo, sweetie, you going to go in? It's so crazy how these snakes always climb straight up. Oh. It's like the spots they were hanging out in Indonesia, right in the caves. Yeah. They like to find those little side spots yeah. and just kind of cruise on them. When we were down in Indonesia and we found little retics, they were always like up on crevices like this, just all the way up. You found one that was like way up in there. Way up high, yeah, like I couldn't even get it out. So this is going to be perfect for her. I couldn't be more excited. I mean, she is going to love it. And again, I think that this cage is kind of perfect because it's really a nice dark cage and she's so bright, she really pops. I just think of kids coming in here, you know, it's on lower level. They're going to be able to look right in, see sunrise. Again, we'll be able to take her out because she's super super docile uh, this is absolutely amazing and with that said I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog here I definitely have to clean up Lucy's cage a little bit and then we will start to work on it and hopefully problem-solve what is going on it hopefully will not be a major fix but hey that is all part of it we're gonna do the best we can do to get it ready for opening day that's for sure and it was so awesome to see sunrise crawl into her new cage she looks so good I can't wait till you guys come and visit and see her it has been a long couple of days we have so much to do ahead of us. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button, turn those post notifications on? Remember to have an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. Leave a comment down below, be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.